Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 16. In this session, I am going to explain three um, different concepts. One is extent and casting, then performance measure. So extent is nothing but how to extend a standard series view with a custom fields. Okay, You can do this for the custom uh, series view as well. Normally custom series view you have a full right so you can change whatever you want but some situation we don't want to disturb the custom series view structure. Okay so in that case we can extend the custom series view as well. So um, so uh, in this example I am going to uh, show you how to extend the standard series and the next one is casting so you know about casting right so we are forcefully convert the value of a variable or operand depends on the data type so like float uh, currency to float or numeric to character so, but we have some restrictions we can't just like that do the casting between uh, data types we have a, a big table format where they mention very clearly what you can able to do a casting either which data type which data type you are able to do it and what are the restrictions over there okay so that is the uh, part of casting so where i'm going to explain about casting in cds view another one is performance measure how to performance my cds so how to in the sense it will take some 10 minutes or sometimes it will take 15 minutes i won't know exactly which place the performance is uh, lagging or how many records is getting for example it gives a hundred uh, um, thousand record which is not required so after the performance measure i can redesign my series view then it will may come with only ten thousand or twenty thousand records so we can split the records to fetch so to understand the flow and the performance the number of data how which is fetching from the uh, particular joins or associations we need to know the performance measure so this we are able to do it in a graphical manner so it's very easy and simple to understand and we are going to perform in hana studio so for this we need st05 transaction to perform a sql trace so these are the three things which i'm going to explain in this session so let's uh, get into the system so this is my hana studio so I'm going to um, open a standard CDS view called I underscore material. It has all the material information. So I plan to add some more details from MARD table. So example, I want to include a plant and storage location from the table to this I underscore material CDS view. And before get into that, let me show you the same in SC11 transaction like SQL view name. So here SQL view name as I underscore material. So I underscore material, click display. So these are the fields, standard fields for this particular CDS view. I'm going to add two more fields, depends on the requirement. So for that, I need to create a view. So right click, new. Uh, let me create Z extent. I extend material okay. extend material view next and transport next I'll go with the template uh, let me go with the template extend view and finish okay so here I need to give the name. So this is nothing but an append name. Uh, normally we call it as append structure. How we do a append structure in SE11 any standard transaction. So the same way. So here I need to give a name for it. Extend material. Okay. And what is the view you want to extend? That is I underscore material. So this is the material. Um, one second entity name not your sql name so you have to give the entity name of the view which you want to extend so here extend it okay and i'm going to give an association for it because extend is not only the fields so after the fields we need to end we need to add the values as well right so i'm going to add the values as well so i want to go association with um, cardinality is one to MARD okay 
on so i need to provide a join between the um your i underscore material and your merd table so projection dot so the fields are just come here this is the material mat and is material so i need to have material here mat material is equal to merd dot mat okay and the field so here it is what are the fields you want i want merd dot uh, let me go with works plant i want and i want one more field dot storage location l g o r t so these are the two fields which is required means i want to extend this uh, sorry i want to include these two fields to the existing standard i underscore material cds view so save check and activate it sometimes it might take little more time to activate it because it needs to adjust your standard cds okay so otherwise it will go with very fast so it's uh, it's trying to activate your i underscore material cds view entity so once it is activated go to s11 and open um, the sql view name for this cds like nothing but i material then you are able to see two more additional fields are appended in the i material sql view okay uh, still it's going Okay, let me go to SC11 and before that suppose if you want to remove this simply delete your SQL or delete your series view extend view so what is the extend view extend view is Z uh, J I underscore extend underscore material suppose you want to remove or you want to add some more fields go and modify it if you want to remove it just delete the particular extend view automatically the fields whatever you have added in the standard series view getting removed <clears throat> just go back display yes okay so it's getting added over here so appended two fields works and lgo rt so and then if you want to delete if you just delete it you won't get it from over here okay so this is the way where you are able to see the values or two additional values in this particular I underscore material CDS view. Okay. So here um, system gets uh, more time, probably some issues with that um, provider of the system. So you don't worry because you don't take this much time. It's very slow, especially for activating any custom fields to the standard CDS. Um, let it be let it activate it once it is activated i will execute this extension view you able to see all the values all the fields of i underscore material along with these two fields and value for the works and igort also if there is a value it will take and fetch in your output of your series view so let it be we'll go to the next one so the next one is cast <coughs> sorry casting so let me have one more CGI casting next transport next and that let me go with some joints yeah, do not join just a view is fine for me so I'm going to use uh, standard table flight details Here uh, it's is flight. Okay, and uh, normally casting you can keep in your final CDS view. So because here the CDS view which we have created is only one, but in real time you are, you are not going to create only one CDS view for a business requirement. It may be multiple. Multiple in sense hierarchy level I'm saying. So you have a basic composite and consumption. So mostly you can keep your casting uh, kind of operations or process at the end of your CDS view, like in the consumption CDS view or at least composite level. Okay, consumption is better. This is from my experience. So don't do a casting in the basic view level itself. Okay, the so final CDS view, which are you say, okay, this is my final CDS view, do the casting part. So here I need K care ID and uh, 
connection ID and it has a price price and over here so this is a regular price right so let me go ahead with this so price as regular price okay now I'm going to do a casting on this I want to uh, add or multiple some percentage on the price maybe some additional discount or something additional I'm going to give but for that I need that value to be converted into float normally if you see price uh, let me show you the data type of this price one second Yeah, price is nothing but currency field. It's 15 of 2. But for some reason, I want this to be converted into float only for calculating the reduced price. Okay, nothing much. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a casting for that. So, I'm going to use cast as a keyword. Okay, or I can say function as a function or keyword. Cast, so price as what you want to convert it you want to convert into a character or numeric whichever is applicable i'm saying okay numeric or float so you have an option called abab dot okay so i want to say float so i want to convert this value as float data type fltp okay so uh, here the issue is the allies name uh, if you use a casting, it, you need some allies name for your field. So that is the one. So if you keep the cursor, it shows clearly. Allies name must be assess, uh, uh, assigned for the expression cast. Okay, so now I'm going to say as reduced price. So here one more point I want to convert it so just like that I don't want to go convert the value I want to add some other some other values so I can say 0 0.03 so reduced price so it's not reduced one because it's going to be increased the actual price let it be let's act toward it and execute it so you're able to see car ID, con ID, regular price and reduced price. So regular price is in currency 15 of 2 data type and reduced price is in float. Okay. So you can play around with this casting option and based on the business scenario, you're able to use it very frequently. And uh, I'll show you the other place where casting is uh, needed and uh, I will show you the nested casting as well. Okay. So for that, I need a program where I'm going to call this um, CDS view in my SAP program and display in the ALV output format. Okay. So let me open the program. Okay. Let's go to AC38. ZGI underscore casting. Casting executable program and save it in the local object. And in a single line, I'm going to write Z class S A L V. Uh, okay, it has more. Let me go one more word over here. G U I underscore table yes IDA and I need a method so method is create for CDS view okay and I want to give the values inside ZGI casting my entity name not your SQL name and what does functions are available so I have a full screen function I want so everything is uh, coming when you do the control space bar and control space bar I want a display method so just display and, and oh, sorry 
and so parenthesis for method okay let's activate it and execute it so now we're able to see id number at fair and this is actually a reduced price this is the column value or I can say field label is missing because this is not directly related to your database table field. Okay, it's just a calculated field. It's calculated uh, column from your CDS. So you might face this kind of issue or um, maybe in future you might know and this is the same thing is happening in SC16 also. So if you open the uh, series in SC16, you're not able to see the value field label might missed over there as well. So for that, I need one data element, custom data element, which I'm going to feed the field label. Okay, so let me create one a short data element. For reduced price 11 data type CGI reduced price one data element reduced price and this is float right it should be a float data type only load data type and go to field label so then I need reduce price and here it is 15 reduce price make 15 reduced price and heading us reduce price save it and activate it so now I'm going to use this data element in my HANA studio along with the casting option. So how I'm going to use it over here. So here I'm going to introduce the nested casting. Cast off. Okay. Of course I want to do this as a, as a uh, casting. So as the entire thing so the entire value the output of this entire value also to be casted with the data element called cgi what is the name red price r e d p r i c e close bracket s reduced price okay so this is a nested casting so just save it activate it you will not see any change in your output cdsb output so only this is reflecting in your program. So this is my program. Just go back, execute. So here you can see reduced price. Okay. So for this purpose also, we are going to use casting option. Okay. So hope this might be useful. So once you start learning, you if you want, just try to use the casting. Uh, as my experience, please use the casting at the final CS view. So the final one is about the performance. I don't want to waste your time. So I have done some uh, CDS views. For example, this is my header CDS view. Okay. So it has, it just re get only the header information. There are some inner join. And uh, this is the order operations. It's going to get the value from AFBB, AFBC. Okay. With uh, uh, JEST over the status. And uh, finally, this is my final CDS view. I'm going to combine header and operation CDS views, header and operation CDS views and display uh, all the fields from the CDS view. So this is the one is very simple and it's very, uh, this is a very, um, we can say uh, training system. So you're not able to find very huge amount of data, but I'll show you how to do a trace and how to open it in a HANA studio. Okay. So step one, you need to activate the trace from your GUI with help of ST05 transaction. So let me go here. Slash and ST05. I didn't do anything in CDS, I means in HANA Studio. Just, I just make my CDS is ready to run. So SQL trace is selected. 
activate the trace is activated now go to hana studio executor just is executor very simply okay come here and deactivate the trace okay and display it so you'll get more um, normally in regular system so you can give the informations uh, but here is very less uh, data is available so i can run it wide wide open so once it is done yeah it's huge so it's very simple to identify so go with object type and find select this and control f so my object is start with zji yeah, here it is okay so this is the one this is one of the way to uh, find your exact object names uh, for the trace so select it and uh, you can go ahead the option called display execution plan so it will show you how it start what are the fields as read what is the name from where is getting so these are very simple we can because we already have seen this in abab st05 abab trace or sql trace the same way it mentioned here column search what is the limit 101 uh, what are the join conditions enabled what type of operations is a column table or row table so there's our column table what is the filter condition so everything is listed over here okay this is one way of seeing your sql trace but the another best part is do the execution trace i'm going to open the same thing in my hana studio okay so just click this execution trace it will open a dialog and where you can able to um, download this as a file it's actually a plv file okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do okay let her go here order details order details dot plv so just click save it's it's okay just allow it so user download successful please open in a your hana database studio okay just click next now go to hana studio alt f because it's a file in a hana studio i'm going to open a file so go to hana studio just click open file and uh, go to the exact place where it got downloaded go to documents order details open it okay it's just open with a few informations over here what is the time for execution what's the column search what happens and this engine uh, how, how much time it takes okay these are from basic informations and sql query what is the system version and everything and memory allocator this is one important thing maybe not now it will take more time you, you come to know how much memory is allocated for your particular uh, execution, ZDSU execution. And now you can go here, his executed plan. This is a place where you can find everything about your series view. How many number of rows executed, how much time it takes, why it takes, uh, this much time, this much records, everything you're able to analyze, but you need a patient for it, okay? Just click one by one. There are the expand button. Where are the expands button? Just click one by one. And from this particular search, it'll just take one out one rows. Because here also is one out one rows. So why one out one rows? It's in uh, CDS view output we set with for one out one rows. So here just click. Yeah, just click or double click over here. And here is mentioned very clearly which table, how many seconds it will take. Just click here. It will find some more and down. So here it, it takes almost 2091 records. It has only that much from AFK or table and uh, I have a joins actually. So from AFK table, it has dynamic search. It has only this much records from 2091. And if you have any filter, so suppose you have uh, 10 or 8 CDS views, every CDS view you have some filters, you can see the difference. So initially it takes 2000, then it filtered for 1500 is a filter for 1000 and finally it came with the 100 records it depends on your business scenario so this is a way you can able to search uh, how much time it takes for a particular block to execute so here the join is performed so with the data of 2091 records so just expand it just double click okay 
and uh, just double click here yes so it just came with 2900 records and AFKO, AFU and NAR so along with which field it's getting the joins an AFKO and AUFK okay so these are some ideas to understand uh, what is happening behind your serious views and what are the places or where are the places you are able to um, execute or you can reduce uh, you can change or redesign your coding part so it will um, drastically reduce the uh, records as well as your time okay so these are additional information what is the execution time start and everything okay so hope this might be very helpful uh, to understand the exactly performance of your serious views and thank you so much for your time we'll see with another concept in a, another set of videos thank you so much